All right, guys, let's look at multiplying decimals. So we start out, we have 3.25 times 2.5. What's the first thing we want to do? Well, we want to rewrite the problem vertically. Now, we want to make sure that we line up the numbers on the right-hand side. Okay, you might be tempted here to line up the decimals, but that is not what you want to do. That is when we're adding and subtracting. Here, all you want to do is line up the numbers to the right. Okay, now we're just gonna multiply the way that you've always multiplied. We're not gonna worry about the decimals for now. So we take the farthest right on the bottom and multiply it by each number in the top, and that gives us 1625. And then we wanna make sure and put a zero on the far right of our second line of products to make sure and hold that spot. And then we take the two in 2.5 and multiply it by each number in the top, and we get 6500 zero, zero on that second line of products. Okay, then we just add straight down, and we get 8125. Now here is the only tricky part of this, and it's really not all that tricky. Okay, you wanna look up top and count how many numbers were to the right of the decimal in our first two numbers. So 3.25 has two numbers to the right of the decimal, and 2.5 has one number to the right of the decimal, so that's three numbers total. So what we're gonna do is in our final answer, we wanna make sure that it has three numbers to the right of the decimal, or the exact same number of digits to the right of the decimal that were to the right of the decimal in our original two numbers. So our answer is 8.125. Now you better be sure that on a standardized test, they are gonna have those same numbers with the decimal point in a completely different spot. So it might say 81.25 or 0.8125, something like that. Don't be fooled. All you have to do is count the numbers to the right of the decimal in your original two numbers, and then make sure that same number of digits is to the right of the decimal in your answer. And that's it. That's all you have to remember. Multiply decimal.